Here we are, guys. Richard's looking really short, but anyway, it's um, here we are down at Virginia. I'll stand up straight now. <laughs> Virginia Heritage Nine. We got some golf ball testing now. This is a Forte Tour Performance S. Yep. This is, this is their second top of the range golf ball. So they've got the Apex Six Tour Performance S, and then they've got a couple of a slightly cheaper ones. Now, yeah. just because they're cheaper doesn't mean they're. No, no, they're in that range of the super soft. So. Yeah, those cheaper yeah. ones are now. These are basically what fifty something bucks a dozen, and then you can get six plus, and you get them a little cheaper, about forty mid forty, something yeah. like that. Yep. Three piece, as you can see from the cut open golf ball. Um, yeah, three piece golf ball. Not a bad golf ball. I actually don't mind this. I could probably use this. I I could use this one. It feels good. It's sort of butter. Yeah, I think the the only wedge. the only issue with these uh, Apex the uh, Forte golf balls is that they, they do sound a bit different. Yeah, this one sounds a lot more traditional. To me, this feels right. really, sounds and feels really hollow. I mean, oh, there, yeah. there is something in it, as you can see, but it it does sound hollow to me. It's like a real clunk. It's yeah, yeah. I I didn't mind this one, and uh, probably the four tables. This is probably the, the one that I like. Yeah, so urethane uh, cover and all the fun stuff. Yep. I think made in Taiwan. Now the biggest thing is, um, it the player performs really well. Yep. So again, the numbers are good. So for me, uh, the wedges spun really good. The uh, driver spun really good, but for me, the seven iron, I felt like I hit them really good, but spin numbers were a bit low for me. Now, yeah, I'm guessing it's probably my strike, but you got to remember that it's me, more than likely. But yeah. traditionally, I get about mid to high six spin with the seven iron. Yep. This was kind of mid to low six, so I don't know what the story was there, guys. Yeah, interesting, very interesting. A lot of work going on around us. Hopefully, it's not too noisy, but guys, we're in the middle of the golf course doing some work so I don't know I uh, the four tables for me were just a little bit different sounding than what I'm used to uh, they, a little bit yeah but I certainly found this one was a lot closer to a more traditional type sound and feel I, I do agree with that yeah the, the apex and the other ones are a bit yeah the noises are a bit funny but this certainly yeah. for me felt felt hollow the uh, apex the forte apex six yep. sounded too clunky and clicky yeah even though it performed really well. So same thing here, sound very different, but performed really, really well. Yep. Yeah, yep. interesting. Now, it's an Australian company, made in Taiwan. Go check them out, guys. A little bit cheaper, especially on this side of things. Yep, these ones are certainly in that bracket of, what, tone socks? Yeah, and look, I, my tour ball from Snell probably fits there, and I'll tell you what I'd go for. <sighs> guys, check out the Forte Tour Performance S Golf Ball performs well, sounds different, but you need to be the, the judge of that, not us. Yep. Richo yep. likes it. I liked it for performance, but it certainly sounded different. Yeah, I, look, it's not a bad ball. Yep. Um, would it be my future ball? Probably not. Yeah. But De definitely not for me, maybe for you. Maybe yeah. No, not, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they're all. Yeah. I think this is the pick of their ball. 100%, yes, I totally agree. I for price and yep. performance, For yes. price, performance. There you go guys, pick of their balls. Check out our other videos guys, like, share, subscribe, we'll see you next time. But there's plenty of other golf ball stuff that we've done and doing. Stay tuned. Beautiful. We'll see you next time.